Speaking of when you were younger, you remember this, right? My name Nipsey Hussle. I'm from LA, Slaughter's in the Crenshaw area. You know, you up and coming artist. Yeah. What did you say you want to do? I said invest in some assets as opposed to trick off my money on some liabilities like diamonds. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Cars that lose value, so you drive them off the lot. You trying to get land? Exactly, homie. A real asset. Take care of my peoples, cause you know that's that. It, it look good, but at the end of the day, you losing value, homie. It ain't it ain't it ain't appreciating. It's depreciating. Sharp at such a young age. How old were you there? Do you remember that? You know, it's crazy. That was that was at the Hip Hop Summit at USC. That's right. And I was probably like 06, 05 probably. Okay, okay. So I was probably like... Young, you had a little mustache. I was a kid, bro. Right, right. I was right. young. I remember like um, TDE was up there and J-Rock, Kendrick. Wow. I think wow. Um, Absol, Top Dog was there. Mm -hmm. In 06. Um, yeah, a couple other artists, you know what I mean? But it was just like some... Uh, a summit Russell Simmons used to throw every year. Yeah, and yeah. And we was like, I was excited to be invited, you know what I mean? And yeah. be able to go walk on the red carpet and, and talk. And then you were talking about investing, you were talking about uh, protecting yourself financially. Right. That's everything you're doing today, Nipsey. Right, right. Yeah, I be tripping when I see it. You know, it's kind of like trending on my Instagram and on my Twitter, so, <laughs> you know, I think that was our vision from Jump, you know, but now to look back at it, it looked like, dang, we was ahead of the game thinking like that. Sure, Boy, sure, like, yeah. Just... Well, at a young age, you don't think that way. You're coming into the rap game. All you think about is what? Jewelry. Money, girls, right. cars. Right. right. You yeah, were but, thinking but land. We, we was a little mature just from what we went through before rap. We, we had right. experienced a little bit of life to where we kind of like had, had um, dealt with it reality and had to mature into like, yeah, you know oh what I'm yeah. saying, think of, as, as a man kind of early. What did you see as a child that, that shaped your way of thinking? I just didn't have nobody that was established in my family. You know, I ain't, yeah. I ain't had nobody that, you know, um, was set up. My dad came from Africa, mm -hmm. like when he was 20, you know, and my mom side of the family, you know, grew up in LA, regular struggle. And so being a, a young boy growing up and mm -hmm. not seeing no structure set up and no business you can go into when you get out of high school, right. or no, you know, college graduates in your family. Um, my dad succeeded by getting here, you know, by making right. it here. That was like big. Everybody he grew yeah. up with was like, wow, you made it to America. You know, that's big. Yeah. You can stop there. So it, I think that just now that I'm a little older and I think about what really motivated us to get out here, I think yeah. it was like just setting something up, being established, being like a first generation um, boy that was going to turn into a man and, and trying to like figure out, you know, what to do. Yeah. And, you know, I think everybody who every race when they first generation came here let's be honest it was crime done to establish your sure. your first generation i ain't saying that's what we did but you know that's <laughs> no, what, no, that's not what, on tape yeah definitely not on tape you know but <laughs> just, just being honest for a conversation's sake yeah, you know man. when you look at like immigration coming into the country that's right the first generation put things on their back so that the second generation don't have to and the generation after that don't right, have to and so, right you know i think we we felt that Instinctively, I don't think I was aware of that until sure, sure. I got a little older. But I, nah, listen, my dad came came to this country in a trunk, right? In a car trunk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like you want to you got to show with your name on it on Power 106. Yeah, man. man. You know that's epic. You know that's one generation of progress. All thanks to pops. You yeah, feel me? You know what I'm shit. saying? Yeah, and we we no, it's all right. Say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, but all right, we, all right. we we've fuck had. <laughs> <laughs>